Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a couple of pet product, um, well, one's a recall and one's, I guess it's a recall also. I've got them pulled up here. I'll start with this one. Uh, it's, it's in a publication called Thrillist.com. T-H-R-I-L-L-I-S-T. The title is Dog Food Recalled Due to Salmonella and Listeria Concerns. Here's what you should look for. And it's by, okay, let me lean way in. It's real tiny. Dustin Nelson, published on 3-3-2021. All right, now let me, okay, yeah, that looks good. My hair's not behaving today. Okay. Now, shows a doggy eating out of a dog food, dog food bowl. You don't know what's in dog food. I mean, for the second time in 2021, a dog food recall has been issued. Bravo Packing has recalled all of its ground beef and performance dog food in both its two pound and five pound sleeves. This is raw meat dog food that comes frozen, I believe. Let me continue. Yeah, the frozen raw pet food, quote, has the potential to be contaminated with salmonella and listeria, monocytogenes, I guess that's listeria monocytogenes, according to the announcement shared by the Food and Drug Administration. The recall text states, has the potential but that's because an FDA inspection of the dog food detected both salmonella and listeria. The company, however, says that it currently has no reports of pet or human illnesses linked to the product. The FDA inspection of the dog food detected both salmonella and listeria. Well, you know, dogs were created to be originally wild. They ate what they could hunt. And their bodies were given germ killers like we don't have. We might have used to have it. I don't know. We'll have to talk to God about that when we get to heaven. Because things weren't always the way they are. We didn't have modern stoves. They did learn to make fire and roast a pig over, you know, a spit, whatever. But uh, before that, they ate it raw, I guess. Or they just ate raw vegetables and fruit you know when when you read the, the thing about Cain and Abel Cain raised vegetables Abel raised animals why did he raise animals unless they were to eat or to sell for the milk and out of the milk he made what we call cottage cheese. They called it curds. Well, it used to be called curds. This, in the church age, I don't know what they called it way back then. Curds and whey. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Um, the recall, let's see, has the potential. Um, okay, I got sidetracked. The company, however, says that it currently has no reports of pet or human illnesses linked to the product. Both salmonella and listeria can cause serious illnesses in pets and 
Salmonella can cause illness in humans who handle the food as well. Wash your hands. Yeah, you know, if I handle raw meat of any kind for myself or my dog, I always wash every, I wash my hands better after that than probably after using the bathroom. Because you wipe with something and anyway. I think I said enough. Uh, it, and then it gives goes on to tell you the symptoms and it says needless to say you should throw out any of these products that you have on hand. Yeah, and that stuff's not cheap. Dispose of them in a way the wildlife won't break into the packaging. If you have questions, the FDA has contact information for Bravo on its recall page that you can click on, and that should give you a phone number. Uh, you should be able to get your money back from the store that you bought it from because they would have this recall as well. All right, now let's move on to this other one. This is really gross. Kind, well, kind of. It was found in the Charlotte Observer, and it's, an, it's titled Invasive Species Found Hiding in This Aquarium Product in North Carolina, officials say. And it's by Mark Price, and they're showing a picture. I'll get a picture of this little muscle or see I'll read it just a second it it's weird looking all right uh, the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission is warning anyone who has bought aquarium moss balls that the product may contain an invasive species of mussel in it. North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission photo. All right, now you can listen to the article, um, but I'll just read this little bit right here. North Carolina has joined the list of states warning consumers an invasive species may be hiding in a common product sold at pet stores. The creature, known as the zebra mussel, has been found across the country in containers of moss balls a product used to clean aquariums. In an update shared Friday afternoon, state officials said the mussels had been found in products sold at PetSmart in Burlington. I guess that's North Carolina. Two products were involved, Marin Marimo M-A-R-I-M-O, Moss Ball Plant Grab and Go, and Mini Marimo Moss Balls, officials said. PetSmart and Petco are now removing the product from their shelves, state officials said. The mussels were also found Friday at two different pet supply chains in South Carolina. According to the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, the claims were not identified. I'm sorry, the chains were not identified where they were found. Now, I should think that'd be kind of important information because if I just bought me some of these moss balls for my aquarium, I think 
that if I bought them at the Fifth Avenue Petco, I should know that. That should be information I should be allowed to have so I can take my moss balls back to the Petco on Fifth Avenue and get my money back. Okay. <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. Have you all? <laughs> I mean, it's not, um, it's called an invasive species, but did you get anything bad out of it? I mean, they're hiding in the moss balls, but what are they doing? Uh, I guess they, they get out of hand. Uh, there's more to read. And they're, oh, that's a pretty picture of a an invasive species is an organism that causes ecological or economic harm in a new environment where it is not native. Okay, if that's one, then that looks like a black hairy bumblebee with too many wings. <laughs> You either click on the link and see what you think about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. With that, I'll let you go. Just check the links in the description box, and you can go there and check these articles out if you think they might pertain to you. Okay. <laughs> with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.